to Mitch Santoni here with a Disney review. Oh, I can't wait to show these off because I, I was so excited when I found them. They are Disney planes from the new movie from Pixar coming out. This is from Above the World of Cars. So it's basically the same type of, of characters. I'm sure we're going to get some cameos from Cars characters. This is the entire collection of the die cast set that just came out. So I'm going to open these up. I'll show them off individually and we'll show a little collection roundup at the end. All right, first up, we're going to take a look at Dusty Crop Hopper. Now, I believe this is going to be the main character of the movie. He's in a couple of play sets, which I have, and I'm going to be reviewing next. I've got two play sets that I'm going to show off. Now, here are the cross cells, and if you want to know uh, the little bio on Dusty, you can pause and read it. I'm going to get him open and check him out. First up, let's look at Dusty Crop Hopper. This is Racing Dusty, so he's got little, he's got some little stripes painted on him, some extra paint here, a little blue. Uh, he's got a working propeller, the wheels spin, obviously. And he's got his numbers painted on him here. So that's really nice. Just a nice heavy figure. Now, these are metal, so die-cast metal. They're very uh, very nice, very robust for these little tiny things. He's got some call letters on him here. He's got Dusty on his near the cockpit, if you will. And he's got some little toxicity signs here, little skull and crossbones. I imagine that's what where the uh, chemical comes out when he crop dusts. So, yeah, very cool. Got some nice weight to him. He will roll across the table. Dusty Crop Hopper. Let's get the next one out. Next up, we have El Chupa Cabra. And I love this guy. I love the way he looks. He's big and fat. He's, he's just a big, chunky plane. He's bigger than the other ones. And he's all decoed out like a Lucha Libre wrestler. So I think that's pretty neat, like complete with the mask and everything. There's his bio if you want to read it. Let's get him out of here. I absolutely love the way this guy looks. Now, this little bit here is plastic. But he is a lot heavier than all the other planes. He's just, he's big and chunky. I love that it looks like he's got like a cape here. And the cape's rubbery. That's kind of neat. This doesn't come off. Uh, you, could, you, know, you don't want to pick that cape off. But uh, very cool. I love the little, the deco on this thing. It's just awesome because it's like a uh, Mexican flag. Awesome. El Chupacabra. Prop spins. Let's go grab another. Okay, this is Skipper. Now, I'm guessing here Skipper is the veteran kind of plane that's going to teach our boy Dusty everything he needs to know. Yep, if you read the bio, that's just about, just about sums it up. Let's get him out of the box. Here is Skipper, depackaged and looking pretty awesome. He looks like a little World War II, some sort of a plane in World War II. I don't know, like one of those Mustangs or something. I'm not real up on my plane knowledge, but I'm sure I will be. Uh, when this movie comes out again all metal very nice i love that blue glossy paint looking awesome i like the little yellow tips too they make the propeller look like it's going that much faster all right here is lead bottom and <laughs> lead bottom looks like a world war one plane so that's even even cooler i like that retro look about it and it looks like he's either going to be dusty's boss or his dad or something we'll have to wait and see until the movie comes out but let's get this open too all right here we have lead bottom now these wings are plastic, they are not die cast. And that's kind of a bummer, but this still looks like a cool thing because, well, these were kind of a fabric anyway back in the days, I believe. Uh, and, and again, he's got a spinning prop. Not doesn't spin as well as the others, but it's befitting for, I guess, an old plane. Uh, his little eyes are in there. He's got like one of the old school pilot helmets on. Old, old school, like <laughs> World War I. And he's got a vitamin mulch, whatever that means. I'm sure when we see the movie, we will find that out. This is Ishani, and it says he's an Indian racer, and I, I don't know if that is a, a plane design uh, from India, but it's got the propeller in the back. It look, looks really cool. I can't wait to get this out of here, but here's his bio if you want to read it. Let's get him out. This guy is awesome. He's, I think, my favorite so far. It looks amazing. That artwork is just amazing. I love the reverse propeller. That looks really cool. And what's really neat here is these don't move, but this guy's got working landing gear, so you can fold that in and get him into flight mode. Last up, we have Rip Slinger, and I'm going to just say that this guy's the bad guy. Without reading this, yes, he is. He's the bad guy. So, looks really cool. He's got a very determined and mean look about him. Let's get him out of here and check him out. Uh, this guy is really awesome looking. Now, I'm not sure what design this is. I know I've seen this before. He's got a double propeller here, so you can spread those out, and they will spin independently or together. Oh, that's cool. He's number 13. He's got some little flame deco going on over here. The landing gear, he rolls just like the rest of them. But I like that black and green, man. He just really stands out amongst the others. So let's get these all together, and we'll take a little group shot. 
Well, that is Wave 1 of the collection, people. I hope you enjoyed this little video review. Uh, I've got two playsets coming up, so stay tuned for those where we'll be testing their skills out in a couple of different racetracks. I'll see you guys there. Take care. Thanks for watching, and come back for some more Disney goodies.